Welcome back to the Kieran Cohen Football Channel. Last time we had Mr. Rory Jennings. Disgusting Chelsea fan. Oh, he's actually lovely, to be honest. And this week we have Ellis Platten. Hello, hello. Where are the pause for Ellis? That's really dickish. Why have I done that? Welcome to a new series where your favourite creators bring five football kits they love and five that they hate before I give my unprofessional but highly valued definitive judgment. What is your first kit, Ellis? Fiorentina's 97-98 home shirt. I think it's brilliant. I think the sponsor's iconic. A lot of people, when you see them talk about Fiorentina shirts, they always talk about the one the year before. Whereas this one is much better. It's got yellow on the sleeves. I like it in long sleeves in particular. I like the way the yellow runs down on the purple. I think it looks very nice. Lots of iconic images of Batistuta that football hipsters pretend they remember him, even though they were not born when he was playing. Yeah, I just think it's a really nice shirt. I think it's chef's kiss, one of the best shirts ever made. Oh, that's a huge call. One of the best kits ever made. Purple and yellow sort of throw me off a bit. I quite like the shape. The long sleeve looks quite cool. Obviously, Nintendo, well, can't go wrong with that. There's one with a massive Mario on it. Yeah, that's a fake. Oh, it's a fake? Oh, boo. Do you want to know a fun fact, a little tangent? That's actually me. I bought that shirt for 500 pounds. It turned out to be fake and it ended up being an article written about in The Guardian. Via cult kits. I like cult kits. Well, now, now everything's very sus. They should do some background checks, thank you very much. Back onto the home purple kit. I don't like the, I don't like it. I don't like the yellow. I'm gonna give it a, a 6.8. What was Rory's first shirt given? Oh, I don't know. I feel like I agreed with it. Oh, what you agree? Oh, he just says things for arguments. He don't mean what he said and you've agreed with it. Yeah, I should just on principle disagree with whatever Rory says, but I didn't. The next one, I actually tweeted you this shirt the other day. Is it the bloody Porto one? It is. It's um our variation, uh -uh, season to get older. The variation of the Holland 1988, famously called the Ipswich template. Even though Ipswich never wore it, it was worn in a European Super Cup. One-off, I believe. It's superb, isn't it? Brilliant. Fantastic. 10 out of 10. Moving on. You say it was a one-off? They wore it in, I believe, maybe two games. So it was never sold to fans. It was never commercially available. Only available as match-worn. But I will own one by the end of this year, I'm certain. So there's two I see here, and one has a collar and one doesn't have a collar. Yes. So they, yeah, they were worn in different games. So it, it makes it a little bit more easier to get. It means there's probably about, like, what, 30 in circulation. It's still really rare. But I just think, oh, it's just so good. It's so good, Kieran. It's so but good. What, this is important. What one are you claiming? The collar one or the collarless one? I am going collared. Yeah, collared. I think it looks better with the collar. That is a crying shame. Oh, the collarless. The collarless for me is so much better. What would it have got collarless out of 10? <laughs> collarless, it's, it's like a 9.8. I'm going to give the collared one a 7.5. <laughs> 2.3 knocked off. All it takes is one strange thing to absolutely ruin it for me. One strange thing's ruining my day, I can tell you that. Your next kit, please. The Club America 1994 home shirt. Ooh, the yellow one. Um, yes, the one with the bigger badge. Because there's one where you can get the small badge, which I own, but the big badge I prefer. You prefer the big badge? No, I prefer the small badge, <laughs> but I won't knock off so many points for it this time. I think the small badge is, is cuter. I like this. I've never seen this color scheme for this uh, template before. That is okay, nice. Now, I don't drink Coca-Cola. However, I understand the value of the branding. It's slapping. I think it would look cool, but I do think the blue version is slightly cooler. Yeah, yeah, I, I can hear that as well. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that point. This is a 9.7. It's high. It's pretty f***ing high. Yes, there we go. Mexico's 1998 home shirt. You'll be familiar with it. Oh, this size. What a cop out. Why? What is that cop out? Oh, it's like, oh, I know. Uh, my favourite drink is water or a beer. Branch out a little bit. It's one of my favourite shirts. Is that bad? The reason it's one of them ones where you're like, oh, that's boring, is because everyone loves it. And you can't you can't just hate something because it's loved. I think you'll find that I can. I do hate the Marvel films, so maybe maybe I fit in that. Now I will bump you up a couple more points because I also hate the Marvel films. So I'm gonna give the Mexico shirt, it'll come in at an 8.9. Oh, there we go, we'll take that, yeah, yeah. Still very high, still very high. What was your final love kit? Glasgow Rangers. 95 home shirt. You'll see what I meant about the collar. It's my favorite collar of all time. Ooh, 
yeah, yeah, I like this one. This is a nice one. It's like, oh, I've got a little cold neck. Oh, I like the uh, little, little, little faint pattern on it, but very simple, very monochrome with the white on it as well. Just no other color, but blue and white. Very well balanced. I like where the stripes are positioned. I like it. Slightly unfortunate it's Rangers, not Celtic, but ultimately I actually don't give a shit about either of them. I'm gonna give it a 9.3. Would anything ever get a 10? It is possible to get a 10. If I'm struggling to find even the smallest bit that you could possibly improve, then it's sort of, well, there's no other excuse than a 10. That's fair enough, that is completely fair. Right, your first hated kit. So the first one is, um... Leeds is 06, 07 home shirt. It was the season we got ready to get into League One, but also the kit is an abomination with a massive Bet24 sponsor in it. Oh, and it's actually, Bet24 one, it's yeah. everything I hate about betting sponsors is most of them are not going to be a thing in 10 years time. So I think it instantly muddies the shirt. But Leeds currently being sponsored by Spotop. Who's going to be using Spotop in 10 years? What annoys me is Spotop. One is a, like a zero and one's like an O. What's going on with that? It's the neckline is rank. People used to take the mick out of us and they'd put like, I bet we'll finish 24th on it. Oh, but they, I, they are, they've just set themselves up for failure then really, haven't they? We did that. finish 24th as well, I believe. Oh, well, actually quite good, uh, good brand integration there, actually. I've seen worse, but I quite like the shape of it. I'm going to give it a, oh, mm, but it is forgettable. I'm going to give it a three. Thank you very much. I'll, I'll take that. The next one up is purely because of a random Uruguayan man scammed me out of $7,000. It's um, Barcelona's 18, 19 away shirt. And it also just looks like a big highlighter, to be fair. Oh, with Malcolm wearing it. He's doing really well at Zenit now. That's a really weird fact, but I actually searched him up this week because I got I wondered about him. He's flying. Yeah, but I mean, who's who's left playing in Russia? Like, oh, who are we playing against? Oh, I don't know, a recently mobilized team who are about 16 year olds. Sometimes I think Luminous is all right. And I don't think this is the worst Luminous kit I've ever seen. Would I wear it? Probably not. The collar template for the for this night kit always really wound me up. They've gone for like, it's flat, but they're also trying to imitate like a folded over little collar. Yeah. Why? Get rid of that, just have a round neck, you're all good. Ah, oh, but it's not the worst. I'm gonna give it a five. Right, this next one is an abomination. Liverpool's 13-14 home shirt made by Warrior. Ooh, oh, this is gonna be rough. How did Warrior get the right to do Liverpool shirt? Well, Why? they're New Balance though, aren't they? Yeah, they are New Balance, right? Which is fair enough. And New Balance, I think, didn't do a bad job overall in the end. But this oh, it's is stinking. so bad. Third rate knockoff. It just looks like you're going to be sh And they were. So they, they did stay on brand. The two lines on the collar and the thing. And then the Warrior logo is atrocious. Yes, very bad. And I didn't even realize they had faint like stripes down the front of it. Jesus Christ. That is a stinking 0 0.5. Yes. It will never be a redeemable quality about this shirt. Next up is another stinker for me. It's England's 2007 home kit. Oh, okay, okay. It's got a Lampard in it. I'm slightly confused by the almost, it's not tribal under the armpits, but it's. It might as well be. It's like when people when people long for Umbro back, and don't get me wrong, I think Umbro kits are phenomenal, like for England. But like they did also release some stinkers, like cuts Nike some slack. Like it's not just them who've re released a bad kit for England. The two random, I guess they're meant to be like blacked out Umbro logos on the shoulder, and they're yeah. just a random. Well, I guess the red line's been a continue from the St. George's Cross on the inside of the shirt, but you're not going to see that because you'll have a shirt on. But would I wear this at football for a laugh? You could get it for like 10, 15 quid usually, but before the market sort of boomed, it probably now is like a 40 quid shirt, which is mental. Oh, I don't know. I'm feeling a bit... Mm, I can... Maybe it's because I'm looking at people who are physically fit. So if the shirt's okay, then you're like, oh, that's sort of a shapely shirt. Maybe if I wear that, I'll look physically fit. And I won't. Yeah. I'll look like a, a, just a bloke. Oh, I'm going to give it a a 3.5. Yeah, that, that's, I think that's probably about right. My last one is Harrogate Town's 2020 to 21 home kit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Strata. 
I've said, I've moaned about it a lot in my time. And also, have you seen the promo image of the player with his arms behind his back? It makes the kit look worse. I hate it so much, Kieran. I hate it with a passion. There's a colour scheme. It's like, it's the same reason I hate Watford. I don't think you can have red, black and yellow. I don't think it works. I think it's, it's painfully ugly. I don't know what it is. Red and black, fine. Yellow and black, fine. Red and yellow, uh, preferably not. That's that's actually vile, to be honest. Sometimes I don't mind a big fat disconnect of sponsor because sometimes opposites attract and, you know, uh, uh, contrast. But this is this is not contrast. I mean, it is contrast, but it is it's violent on my eyes. Absolutely no redeeming factor about it whatsoever. It looks like they bought like a print off of like Vista print. And yeah, and so like, poor old tea ladies ironed it on. I just don't get what the brand guidelines were in putting that sponsor on. <laughs> like, most football sponsors are like wide, aren't they? Why is it just a fat square? Surely they could have like done something different. Like, oh, just don't sponsor a football team. I'm gonna give this a solid 0.1. I honestly think it's contender for one of the worst kits ever made. Like, it's that bad. I'd be like, do you do one without the sponsor? Can I get that one? Because it's just so, so f***ing ugly. <laughs> That is all your kits. Your, I, I enjoyed that thoroughly. Uh, some expected ones, some very unexpected ones. I like to be a bit of a curveballer. I will force you onto a, another show at some point and here at some point. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining. Don't forget to subscribe. Go over to watch else's content as well. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.